Michigan's Upper Peninsula has been known as copper country forever. But did you know that copper's been mined in the UP since before the birth of Christ? It's true. Before Stonehenge and the Egyptian pyramids as well, and somehow Lake Superior copper has ended up all across North and South America. Luke Clyburn of the Noble Odyssey Foundation gives us a peek into this long lost ancient industry. In the study of, of the copper tools that we worked at and worked with, uh, the copper was pliable. They could, they could hammer it into shape, so it, it really became something that uh, would make killing a rabbit easier or make uh, scraping a hide easier. Uh, and I think people just pretty much followed what came natural, and I think having copper, uh, beating into shape, making a tool, is how it all started. I think that carried on until the Iron Age when we learned how to uh, smelt and, and mold iron and make probably a little bit stronger tools that would hold an edge or keep sharper longer. Do you think that there was uh, an economic um, part of this? Were they selling it to them? Was this a, a, maybe a trade situation? This is the uh, controversial area of the copper. We have those that talk about just the hunters and gatherers using the materials that they were close to. I don't think so. I think that the amount of effort that it took to mine, to be able to travel to Al Royal, to be able to travel to the Keweenaw, uh, there had to be an economic payback. It was an industry. People were looking for how to, uh, maybe it wasn't money, but, but to exchange it for some commodity that they needed. People were pretty smart. I think they knew how to make tools, and I think they took the materials and shipped them wherever they, they could exchange it for a commodity that made it worth their effort. The world's been much closer, and people have uh, traveled back and forth long before we see it in history. People had the ability to mine, but they also had the ability to get to our rail or get to northern Michigan and then be able to travel and get back home again. That took a pretty large amount of sophistication. They knew how to uh, navigate. Uh, it wasn't like walking in the woods and not knowing how to get home. So I think all of that industry created some pretty sharp people.